Hi everyone. I want to give you guys a preview of the script which we just recently got done with. I was fortunate enough to meet Mr. Lambini on advanced renamer forums. When I was trying to automate, uh, well, I was trying to figure out how to automate the process of moving files from a source, such as a camera or a flash drive or a cell phone, to a destination folder on my PC. Uh, I made a post which piqued his interest as he'd already made a renaming script for a different purpose and thought we could do some more coding to adjust it for my needs. Uh, although it turned out to be a bigger project than intended, I think what we ended with is truly beautiful. He coded it in Python and uh, it can be adjusted as required. There's quite a few neat features, if you will. Um, so I just want to demonstrate that right now. Uh, here's a preview of the script. So we've set our so source paths. Uh, I've got my flash drive here. There's a folder already on the PC. There's my cell phone, and it's another folder on my cell phone. And that's the destination path. Uh, pay attention to this, because I've included a folder which doesn't actually exist on my drive yet. So the script will create that for me, uh, if it isn't already there. All right, and uh, something to note, you uh, it, it takes, so this script sorts the, sorts the media into folders according to the date and it takes the date from the exif data on uh, from the photo uh, uses date time original which is uh, when the photo uh, is copied onto your camera's memory that's date time original I think create date is when the photo is actually captured itself like before it's been written to the to the camera's memory um, and we have a backup which in case these two aren't there it'll take from file modify date which is almost always there uh, it's usually pretty accurate if these two aren't, aren't, aren't available uh, we can set undo which I'll, I'll show you later and uh, we're turning the rename function off for now I don't really like that uh, for various reasons but uh, it's there if I need it I set it to rename for uh, according to date so it'll put the date uh, along with some uh, what is that called uh, a sequence so it'll put the date uh, along with a sequence but yeah I'll just show you how it is for, for now so I'll go to my PC so basically I just have uh, that's my phone and flash drive and some folders now this folder on my phone, I've labeled it fail because it's got duplicate files right here. These files are similar to, uh, they're similar to what's on this one. So they're exactly the same. So we'll see how the script handles duplicates. Um, all right, so I just plug in everything and then let's go with, I made a shortcut to run the script automatically. So after I, uh, plug in all of my drives I just go copy and it opens up a command window to show me what's happening so all these are successful and so it did two things right now it opened up the folder which failed so this folder failed and it tells you why it says the file already exists which is true and it skipped the file that's all it did so it gives you a pretty good error um, dialogue here and it allows you to kind of manage the files manually uh, based on your needs so I don't really need to use that and what it also does is opens up the destination folder so I can just do a quick glance over to see so as you can see all of the files which were like, for example, uh, let's go with on my phone. So this photo, 2016, uh, it's 19th of June, 2016. Right. So let's see it copy. Wait, we're going to use exif data right now. Let's see if it will show date taken. Uh, it doesn't show. I have to use advanced renamer or something. Okay, Windows 10 fail. <laughs> Here we go. So, date taken. Okay, that's fail. 
where's create date or date time original right here so it's supposed to label the file according to this 19th of June 2016 let's see if it did that and uh, I did create the folder media so that that worked 619 you can see here that's the folder and here are the photos all there so what's amazing is that it does it for videos as well works pretty nicely and um, in case I want to undo it it also includes a batch file which I can just double click to undo all the actions that were done um, yeah what else um, I think that pretty much does it I can undo and show you guys so that just removes the files basically uh, ideally what I would be using this for is for my phone that would be the most important thing I believe because uh, I'll probably take a lot of photos and I might go out with friends and they would send me photos on by Bluetooth or from WhatsApp and all kinds of sources so I can just set those sources individually with uh, in the script and then I just plug in my phone and then double click and it takes from all of those folders all those sources and either moves this would be the, the most useful one it'll move it from my phone onto my PC I don't have to worry about it after that it's like instant as for taking from a camera I tend to use I tend to, to do a bit of pre-processing before I put it on my computer so it's photo mechanic right so I use photo mechanic to take photos from a camera so I can go through it and then transfer them onto uh, into Lightroom or wherever but yeah I will so you need Python for this and Colorama to give you that to give you these colors and stuff and that's pretty much all you need to do I'll include the script in the description and include the appropriate credits of course and I hope you guys can find this useful if, if you need a video or a tutorial to, to know how to install Python or how to get the script working if you have any trouble with that I wouldn't mind making a video so one more thing I forgot to add was uh, if you are using an Android device then you would need to map or mount it onto your PC onto your Windows in order to copy using the script um, it has to recognize the script has to recognize it as a regular drive and to do that you need to use an application like a web dev, a web dev server I'll include a guide in the description below so you can take a look at that um, if you have any questions feel free to ask I'll do my best to answer um, have a good one